What's going on family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go check them out at slabcityjigs.com. We have come together and made a custom line of soft plastics for you guys. Go get you a couple individual packs or you can pick up this custom 903 fishing kit right here available on the website right now. Y'all be sure to stick around and see these jigs in action. Y'all stay tuned. You know, crop. Oh God, there's an, uh-oh. Oh guys, uh-oh. Hey guys, oh, that's a big fish. Big fish, big fish. Big fish. Big crop, big crop. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. A little bit different video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be fishing a private pond. Hopefully we can catch some crappie out of it. My uncle Bob gave me permission to go fish it today. So I'm hoping it's a great time. If you haven't, go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the 903 fishing family. Today I'm gonna to be using my 6.6 ACC crappie sticks one piece. And I'm gonna be throwing a double jig rig under a slip cork today. And I'm gonna be using Slab City hair jigs, all right? So we're gonna see, my, my Uncle Bob says there's, there's crappie in this little private pond. So I'm hoping we can get on them today. Y'all stay tuned. There he is. It's a little guy. A little crappie guys. Look at their top jig. That's a pretty fish. A little guy. Look at their pretty white crappie. I didn't take long. I think I found a little group of them in here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's another little guy. Well, that one's a little bigger. Look at that. Bottom jig that time. We are all catch and release today, guys. All catch and release. We're out here trying this little pond right here. And I've never been here before. Wanted to come try it out. Looks like there's a few crappie in here. Never know until you go try it, guys. You never know. Water is really clear. I did notice that right off the bat. Look at that. Uh oh. Got him. He's on. Not a giant, that's for sure. A little guy. Look at there. Small white crappie. <laughs> you think we gotta run into a bigger one, right? Wouldn't you think? If they're small ones, you know, you know, mama and daddy's out there. You know, with, with smaller bodies of water like this, guys, if you're ever fishing a smaller lake or pond, you know, what I prefer to do is I prefer to cast out as far as I can. I want to cover as much water as possible with that cast. That way you have a better chance of locating the fish in a shorter amount of time the more water that you cover. That's just how I look at it when fishing small lakes or ponds. There he is. Uh-oh, a little bigger. Look at that. Probably about an eight incher right there. Oh, probably all over the camera guy. There he is. Oh, that's a better fish. There he is, guys. That's a better crappie. That's a keeper crappie, too. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that crappie. Hey, that is top jig. And he bit it like a keeper, too. I don't know how big that is. Probably 12 or so. Looks like a decent fish, guys. And you know what? That's pretty. Pretty white crappie. We're going to let him go, baby. See you, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. I, now that's a good fish. 
Is I want I want some more then. Those are fun out there, boy. Did it just like a keeper crappie too. You saw that slip cork hit one time and then it just slowly went under. Alright guys, today I'm using my 66 ACC crappie sticks one piece. Yamoshi XF 1000 10 pound power pro braid. I got my slip cork set up. Pommel slip cork right here. And then of course, these are the slab city jig hand ties, baby. These are the Granger ghosts right here. But I got it double jig rig. Both are 1 16th ounce jig heads, okay? And these are slab city hand ties right here. That's what I'm using to catch these crappie today out of this small pond. Got one keeper, well, well what would be a keeper so far. Lots of small fish, but you know what? It's a beautiful day. I'm blessed to be out here I'm catching fish. That's all that really matters to me. Oh, there he is. Another little guy. Well, I say little. Heck, eight incher, seven and a half maybe. Look at that. Pretty fish, guys. Are y'all seeing the colors? The colors on these crappie. Beautiful, clear water. That really makes their colors come out. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at there. Guys, I threw it in there and didn't move it. I got bit. Is he there? He's there. A little guy. But hey, guys, I didn't even move that Slap City G. Look at that. About an eight inch or so. I got to make sure these crappie aren't splattering on my camera. Another, another little one. Double jig rig, guys. I love it. Now, I had somebody leave a comment the other day on a video saying that double jig rigging under a slip cork is only for deep water. And to me, that sounds like an opinion. That's not a fact. Because, hey, if I... Oh, that bit like a better fish, but it's really not. But guys, I'm using this double jig rig for almost any type of water. Now, of course, guys, if I'm fishing in a, a foot to two feet, no. But right now, I'm fishing about three and four foot deep. So I'm covering both depths three and four crappie are sitting a little higher in the water column they may see that that jig sitting at three feet first but the ones that are a little deeper they may see that one sitting at four foot so i don't know to me it ups your chances overall i catch more fish using the double jig rig i also got how to rig my slip port this double jig rig right here on the channel what I'll do is I will link it at the end of this video. So it's going to be at the, oh, there he is. It's going to be at the very end. So don't, don't miss it, guys. Everybody ask me where it's at. It's at the very end after channel memberships show up. And shout out to all channel members, by the way. Look at that crappie. I think these crappie are just schooling back and forth. Trying to find bait. That's what they're doing. So... I'm giving them that Slab City jig, baby. Oh, there he is. If that's a crappie, that's a good one. Better one. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a better fish. Better, a little better than what I've been catching. Look at that. Looks like this little pond is overstocked or overpopulated. I'm telling you guys, crappie can and will do that. Let's see if there's another one over there. So hey guys, what I did was I stopped getting bites over here. So I cast it about 10, 10 to 15 yards this way. Out at the same range I was catching over here. And I caught I caught a fish, so. Let's see if there's any more. Oh. There's another little guy. Come here, fish. He's a little guy, guys. Look at that jig, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that jig. 
glimmering like that in that sunlight i don't know if y'all can see that or not but i mean it is just a beautiful jig i mean that's gonna imitate that that minnow or that shad about as best as you can get especially the sunlight today is beating down on this water water's pretty clear so that sunlight can penetrate the water to let that chanel in there glisten and you know i believe that's really helping right now it's really helping them, them crappies see that bait and see it from a distance as well oh he hit it oh man what are we doing that one hit it <laughs> let's go little guys man you know what's crazy is like they're either six inches or i've caught you know a couple that were 12 and that one of those was probably bigger than that the second one i caught but man they're either really tiny or really big there's no in between it's weird oh man look at that he, he was not playing I mean, just crappie everywhere. Crappie everywhere. There he is. Group A, baby. Let's go get another one. There's got to be a few big ones in there, right? I think there's so many smaller guys in there. They're beating those bigger fish to the bait. Because I think if there was bigger fish in there, more, a lot more of them, I would, I'd be catching them if they could get to the bait. I don't think they can. Oh, there he is. Oh, poor I didn't even set the hook. I just lift it up. It's a little guy, that's why. Top jig, guys. See, look at there. You know, I've said this in previous videos, but first time watching double jig rig, guys, allows you to fish at two different depths. Now, honestly, I broke off earlier. These aren't as far apart as I would like them to be but instead of re-rigging the whole rig i just went ahead and tied on that other jig but two depths at once you know crop oh god there's an uh oh oh guys uh oh hey guys oh that's a big fish big fish big fish big fish big crappie big crappie look at that oh my gosh that is a stud. That's a stud. That's a stud, guys. Look at that crappie. Oh my gosh. Dang, that's a, that's a toad. I'm gonna put that back. Oh my gosh, guys. We got a bass. We got a bass. Oh, is that a crappie? Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's a bass. I'm tripping. My apologies, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that bass right there. Hey, Slap City Jigs. Pull those bass in there too, baby. Nice little bass. Let me put that one back. There we go. You know what? I was testing it out, guys, to see how deep it was. And I guess I'm a little too deep. I thought that was a crappie at first. I was obviously wrong on that one. What's going on, family? These crappie either moved or they shut off on me. But you know what? I think I'm about to call it a day. I'm about to walk back to the truck. Right now is a great time to hit that subscribe button and go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. I'll see y'all in one second. Y'all stay tuned what's going on family i'm back in the truck boy it got hot out there on me today but you know what i was really surprised we ended up catching what would have been three keeper crappie and a lot of smaller crappie it seems like to me that this little private pond is is overpopulated with crappie but to be honest with you guys that is what crappie can do to a small lake or a small pond just like that those slab city jig hair ties and that 66 acc crappie sticks 
it was the ticket today guys i know y'all seen it work and y'all be sure to go check out slabcityjigs.com and also be sure to go check out acccrappiesticks.com of course the 903 fishing stinger series is on slabcityjigs.com but y'all seen in a previous video coulter makes some awesome hair tie jigs and y'all be sure to go check him out i appreciate y'all for watching if you haven't smashed that like button i greatly appreciate it and once again if you're already subscribed god bless you Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. If you aren't a part of the 903 Fishing Family, hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.